Hey guys, this is Zidin here from Recomedy.com. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add add-on domain in cPanel step by step. Welcome back. First of all, you need to log in into your account before we can proceed. This will open the dashboard. As you can see, we did all the different options that we are having in here. Right. We'll detail most of these options, so keep tuned for coming tutorials. What we need for today is the tab of domains. You can just minimize all the rest. So what we will be doing here is the this tab. And as you can see here, there are three different options, whether you can add a domain, an add-on domain, or a subdomain. You can check our tutorial, which specifies all the differences and details between these three options. What we'll focus on is adding an add-on domain. So all you need to do is just hit the plus button or add. A new window will appear. And the first box you need to fill in your domain name just paste it and as make sure you do not include the http or https and the slash at the end good you can also omit the www great the subdomain will feature which is english as you can see And next we have the document root where your domain will be installed, where you will find it. So here it's on home. Great. The next option you can create an FTP account associated with this add-on domain. You click it, then you will be asked to provide a new username and password. But you can still use the uh, FTPs. But you can still use the uh, FTP account of the main domain in your cPanel. Okay, so you can create a, a new FTP account associated with this add-on domain, or you just simply use the default one, which comes with the default domain with which you have created the web hosting plan. The same, alternatively, you can come back later into your C panel and as you can see here you will find all the FTP accounts that you can select and you can manage them through this link here you can create new ones if you want to otherwise use the defaults as we said great next we just hit add domain and voila, the add-on domain English.com has been created and your domain now has been created successfully. If you face any problems configuring or adding add-on domains, then make sure that you have configured the DNS servers of your domain name properly. You can check our previous tutorial in which we go step by step on how to configure your domain name DNS. All the links will be provided below. And as you can see here, our domain has been added into the add-on domains. Now you can manage. You can also remove it if you change your mind. Click on manage redirection. So you can add a redirection to the SSL certificate. Good. let's go back click on it this will redirect you to the cpanel file manager in which you can configure all your domains as you can see here it is 
select the folder of our domain and any other add-on domain you will add it will be featured in here and from here you just can manage all the files and all the links and you can install any script you want great that way you have added your domain successfully great with this we have reached this episode keep tuned it for our next tutorial in which we'll be showing you how to create a database and start installing your uh, script whether wordpress joomla or any other script you want to thanks so much for watching i hope you have a great day and if you have any comments or suggestions please have them below and subscribe if you want more helpful videos like this see you around thank you for watching if you like this video do consider sharing it click on the like button and go ahead and leave us a comment below we'd love to hear from you and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and the notifications to get the latest tutorials that will inspire empower and connect you www.rackmedia.com